this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a really fun project with you. Um, this project I created for Angela Beavers, the owner of Creative Chaos in Circleville, Ohio. And I'm going to be teaching this as a class over on her Facebook page. Um, now, all the information for when and, and all that good stuff, all the details are going to be listed on her Facebook page, which there is a link in the description box of this video. For you to go over to her Facebook page you can get all the information so I'm going to share with you the project that we're going to do and I do know that she's going to have a few kits I'm not sure how many but again all the information will be over there on her Facebook page so the design paper that she had sent me was jelly bean soup um, spoonful of soul so this is a collection and it is really pretty because you know the colors are different um, something you know different this time instead of a graphic 45 class or whatever but anyway love the colors so I use the 12 by 12 collection kit and you also get in the collection kit some um, stickers which you can see that I use quite a few and then you also get um, which I don't know what I did with them um, some little sheets of like washi stickers which were really fun and then these are the leftover papers that I had from the project so you know there's two full sheets or three full sheets of 12 by 12 that I did not use and then um, a couple of half sheets but that's the leftovers and again the collection is jelly bean soup spoonful of soul I've never seen this paper before so it was kind of fun to work with so here is the project that I'm going to be teaching right here now it is a folio and it's a trifold folio however instead of it going vertical it's going horizontal you also get in the collection kit um, some die cut images and the cool thing about these is it's a full 12 by 12 sheet and you just punch them out as you need them and, and that's all that I used was what she'd sent me in the collection kit the base of the project is chipboard and it is wrapped with some Nina Desert Storm craft colored cardstock so here we go. On the front cover, I layered up a bunch of the images, made like a little flower garden here. There's some cute little birds. This is a cut apart that I did. Um, cute little bicycle ephemera piece, and it's mounted up on some foam tape. This is a little strip of the border paper just to, you know, put so this little bicycle's not floating around out there. <laughs> so that's here, and then I've got the pink on the background. The spines have this really pretty multi-striped on both sides. And then the back has this gorgeous, fun, whimsical floral print on the back. Now, the folio does measure eight by six. And again, it's a trifold. So it does have a magnet closure. So you open it up here. And on this inside, this front panel right here, I made a cute little scene with a cute little bird here. Some more flowers from the die cuts. I used a strip of this to make a little belly band and then there's another little um, sticker here this is good times and then this is left open and there's a little photo insert right here with a cute little uh, ephemera piece some more design paper and I just added some of these cute little stickers so you can just put your photos here and there's a little caption says favorite moment and remember this and then it's the striped on the back so that tucks right in here like this so you open it up and this is the full complete spread so I'm going to start over here on the left inside front some more of that pretty floral paper I made a little tiny pocket here um, and used another sticker here this is another piece of ephemera I did make a little tag with some scrap uh, cardstock this is some of that really cute washi it's the little bicycles and some little stickers here and then a little sticker on the back so then this is a little flip up we've got a cute little bird here this is one of the cut aparts and some more design paper here with another sticker and over here, um, you flip it up, we've got some of the little striped paper here, another ephemera, and then this is one of the cut aparts, and I just left it open so you could tuck it in there. So this little tag holds this little thing down right here. So then on the inside panel, we've got some more design paper here on the spines. I have a waterfall feature here. These were some stickers here that I just glued. No, I think these were maybe the punch outs I can't remember but it says the story some cute little house paper and then another little border strip from the cut apart page and then there's a magnet there as well you flip it open and then it says today and then the rest of that border strip right here which I thought was really super cute and some more design paper here so these are three and a quarter by four and a quarter so you can put full three by four photos on here and there's one two three four five six seven eight spots for photos 
Again, it says the story starts here. So you can even put photos on the front, but I designed it so the photos go in the back. Okay, some more of that cute washi. These washi sheets were darling. Um, another page here. So some more of that washi. And I did take the washi and wrap it behind um, just to make sure that the ends don't pull up because sometimes and you can always add glue, but to me it was just easier that way just to wrap it behind. And then some more cute washi there, and then another one of these. And then on the back, um, again, some more little die cut hearts right here, and then another piece of the striped paper. So then that closes like this. And then behind, I did leave the waterfall mechanism when I went to attach it to the center panel. I just attached it on three sides. So there is a pocket back here. And we have some photo mats in here. And these, I think, are four and a, yeah, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So those Instagram four by four photos will fit perfect on here. This one says smile. And then on the back, it says right now. I love it. Smile right now. I need to tell my granddaughter that. So you can put the photo here. This one says favorite. And then remember. And then this one says love you and noted. So I thought those were pretty cute. And I staggered them so when you could stick them all in, you can see all three of the little tags on the top. So those just fit right back in there. So that's the center waterfall panel. And then over on the far right, we have another little flip out mechanism. Again, I used some of the die cuts and just made a little scene with a little houses and a heart. It says happy and a little bird and a little star. I used um, this little cut apart here. It says live, laugh, love as a little pull tab. So there is a magnet in there as well. So you flip this open. And then it says, you are all kinds of wonderful. I love the umbrella paper here with all the different patterns done in umbrella style. So I took the piece and I just cut it. That way, um, this would be a, you know one continuous piece here. So this folds open. Then we have a place over here. This is a cute little cut apart. Another little piece of ephemera. Another little, stick, a little sticker right here. And then you flip this open. And then here's the rest of this paper here. I did leave this open, this little ephemera piece. It says do small things with great love. So you could just slide your photo right underneath here if you wanted. Or you could just tuck it in there and not glue it down. That way you could just pull it out, pull the photo out and still see the pretty paper. So then when this flips open, we have this cute little mechanism here. It's another little fold out, um, some more ephemera. Cute little thing here. And this is every day. Hello, and then a cute little bird, which I did leave open. And then you can add two more three by four photos there. So that goes like that. Then it closes like this. And then this folds down. And then it folds over like this. And it folds over like this. And again, a magnet closure. So there is a lot of room in there, so you can still add photos. I didn't chunk it up too bad. Um, so that's the cute little project that I'm super excited to teach for Angela. So thanks, Angela, for the fun. She's going to do it as a Friday with friends. And yay, I'm one of her friends. So I get to teach this class for her. So all the information will be on the Creative Chaos Facebook page. So after I got the project done, I had some leftovers just sitting on the table. And I wanted to see how many cards I could get out of just the leftovers, not cutting into anything big. So these are just regular four and a quarter by five and a half simple cards that you can do with the scraps. Um, I layered up some of the papers here, another cute little sentiment die cut that says beautiful day. I added some of that washi on the inside and a couple hearts. So here again, cute little lemonade and some lemon paper. Again, I did pop this up and the inside is gonna have a cute little lemon washi sticker. Uh, this one I love is Tribe, close friends, a group of people who are loyal to you and care for you like families. I layered up some of the flowers here. And then this is just some of the paper. Again, whatever I had scraps I had left on the table, I used it to make these cards. And then another cute little um, washi sentiment right there. Thank you for your part in my journey. Cute little lemons here. So I think I have three that are going horizontal and three that are vertical. Again, they're all the same size. The bases are some photo plate cardstock I had, or card bases. Um, so some more cute little die cut lemons. This is just a circle. I don't know where I got that. They'll sit on my table. <laughs> some washi right here. And again, it says chin up darling. That was one of the ephemera pieces. Some more design paper and then cute little washi here and a little ephemera piece right there with the lemons. Here's the cute umbrellas. I did cut this sentiment apart because it was really, really long and I wanted to fit it on here. Cute little umbrella sticker and some more cute little washi. Um, some more ephemera right here that I layered up. Strip of paper here. Now this little blue, I'll admit that was sitting on my table and it's not part of this kit. Um, 
but I used it anyway because this piece was too, wasn't big enough. <laughs> so then you open it up. I did leave this one plain because I got so much going on out here. So there you go. Those are the six little cards that I created with just some leftover. So you will have some leftover product in the in the kit and this is just a few little cards that you can make with it so there you go everybody that's the project i'm teaching and these are the extra just goodies just a suggestion for you to use the leftovers so there you have it everybody thanks for watching bye